Hello everyone, welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Engineering Control Center Interface to PTC Windchill. SAP has always provided an open platform for PLM innovation and will continue to offer direct integration with engineering authoring tools. However, SAP does understand the needs of those customers that may have significant investments with foreign PLM solutions. To support these customers, SAP is announcing a new offering to integrate these systems with SAP's true product development lifecycle. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President LeverX, and I will be the moderator and, uh, for today's webinar. Before our topic begins, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Hello, thank you, Alan, and thanks, everyone. I'm Pete Demchenko, Director of Consulting Services at LeverX. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I'd like to welcome, welcome you all, especially all our partners and customers that are using Winchell today. I remember in my SAP days when I was a PLM practice manager, visiting many of the different customers that were using Winchell, and they always asked me, hey, when are you guys going to get something together here to help us out? And I used to tell them the standard answer was switch to SAP PLM and you can get all your data in there and it'll all work great. And a lot of the customers always said, hey, Pete, I just can't do that. You know, I spent a lot of money. There's a lot of sunk costs here. We'd love to do it, but we just can't. We need to find a better way. And today, SAP is going to show you a better way. So thanks for joining us. And LeverX being SAP's partner in the implementation of the Winchell integration, we want to thank you very much for attending. And I'd like to pass the ball over to Mark. So as mentioned in the agenda, um, what I'd like to cover uh, fairly quickly at the beginning of this uh, uh, webinar is you know, the SAP strategy for integrating engineering data uh, into the enterprise. Now, there's a bunch of challenges that I'm sure uh, you know, all of the organizations that are sitting on this call uh, are running into, and that is how do we effectively get uh, engineering data released about a product so that the rest of the enterprise can effectively execute their portions of the product development process. And if we bucket those into three main areas, um, we have a lot of uh, inefficiencies in this handle, you know, being able to take the information from these other islands, uh, you know, and it's not just from engineering, it's all different types of uh, disciplines, and bringing that product basic information over so that we can start the manufacturing process or the service process, or the sales process, and so forth. Great. So let me show you this PCTR interface for team data management itself. So uh, what is the windshield interface about? It is a team data integration. It's a backend integration for master data. So we exchange CAD CAM, ECAD data, software, well, generally master data requirements between those two systems. Um, this interface is divided in several components and the external adapter on Winchell is developed by our CID partner, DotRees Engineering, uh, since they have the best Winchell experience. Um, however, the customer in the end gets solution out of one hand. It is an SAP product. Our paradigm during this development was to develop a virtual switch between those two systems that you can see here on the right bottom. This virtual switch should allow the customer to decide what the leading instance is. Whereas we from SAP believe to get is the best way to have the data available as early as possible for subsequent processes. So what are the capabilities of the windshield interface? We, first of all, have a bi-directional interface that um, is exchanging the mentioned data between PDC windshield and SAP PLM. The interface is completely aligned with our SAP PLM objects 
processes and strategies. It, it enables your organization for corporate engineering change and project management and offer a central um, data backbone for regulatory compliance processes. So technical wise, the interface results in a lower number of redundancies and inconsistencies because there is a direct link between the data in SAP and in Windshell. Due to its very tight integration that uh, allows a direct connection, so no um, a middleware is not even needed. Furthermore, uh, the very tight integration is reached using the Windshield API directly. And on the SAP side, we use the application interface framework as the standard proven framework for interface management in SAP. Perfect. Um, so we're here. Um, I uh, um, am today during our live demonstration playing the role of the design engineer um, living in my windshield world uh, and doing all work in uh, windshield. Um, this is our demo model of today, um, which is uh, the forklift, um, uh, specifically the WT part of that forklift. Um, and uh, what you might already notice, uh, as you're familiar with Windchill, um, we added an um, SAP tab to that view. Um, so if we click on that, we're going to see um, nothing because uh, the data is not yet sent over to SAP. So we're basically designed that whole forklift new and this uh, is not yet released. Um, so uh, we will come back to that tab later on and we'll see how we as a um, windshield user can consume SAP data and meter information without even uh, having to leave our windshield system. Um, so going back to our details tab, um, we have uh, two ways to actually hand over data to the interface. Um, the first way is a button we build in here, which is the transfer to SAP button. If I'm going to click that, we're going to have the collector collecting everything we want to transfer. So top down, uh, everything which is related to that WT part forklift, like drawings and DPM documents uh, and so on. Um, and if I click the OK button, um, the transfer will be triggered um, and, hand, uh, and hand the data over to SAP. Um, as this is an ad hoc functionality, um, not, probably not every user should have that. So we can um, control that by user rights if that button is visible or not. Um, so uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to release uh, that forklift in the uh, usual way. So we are going to create a new promotion request um, collecting every um, object which uh, is part of that forklift um, and have the full, full structure being released right now. Um, so, sorry. Uh, so there we go. Um, the drawings too. And uh, there we are. Uh, we want to release them and we're going to uh, set those for promotion. Imagine your very own release process and that we do have a pretty much stripped down uh, demo process here because as soon as I hit the finish button, the whole structure is going to be released. Um, but you don't want to see me clicking that finish button because that's nothing, uh, there, there will be nothing happening anymore because the data will be released and this will now be the trigger afterwards to hand over the data to SAP. So we're going to switch back the screen to Dennis right now. Um, and as soon as you see the screen, I'm going to hit the finish button because you will then see the data running in into SAP with the monitor.